In this video, we are diving into the G-Code basics. If you're curious about how your 3D printer reads instructions to create your prints, well, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Zachary and welcome to this video. G-Code is essentially the language that your 3D printers understand. Every movement, every action your printer makes is a command within the G-Code. It's a standardized language used in many types of CNC machines and not just 3D printers. G-Code isn't something you need to write yourself. It is generated by a slicer program like Cura, Prusa Slicer, Bamboo Studio, Orca Slicer or many other slicers. These programs take a 3D model slice it into layers and translating each layer into a g-code that your printer reads. Well, let's break down some common g-code commands you'll see and what they mean. For example, g0 and g1 are movement commands. g0 is a rapid move and a g1 is a controlled move, telling the printer where to go in the x, y and z coordinates and at what speed. M104, set extruder temperature. Well, this command tells the printer to heat the extruder to a specified temperature, like M104S200, which sets it to 200 degrees Celsius. G92 sets the current position of the nozzle. It's like telling your printer, well, this is zero so it knows where to start from. M140, bed temperature. Well, the M140 sets the bed temperature. For instance, the M140S60 sets it to 60 degrees Celsius. Perfect for PLA printing. Understanding G-code can help troubleshoot problems. For instance, if your printer is pausing at weird spots or failing, you might find clues in the G-code. For example, if your printer pauses randomly, there may be an unnecessary M0 command, which is a pause command. Spotting and remove it can keep your print going smoothly. Well, to view or add a G-code, just open it in a simple text editor. Here you can make small adjustments like changing the first layer speed or maybe the temperature. So that is a basic rundown on the G-codes. You know now what G-code is, how it is generated, some key commands and a few ways it can help with troubleshooting. The next time you hit print, you know what is happening behind the scenes. Well, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and drop any G-code questions in the comments below.